Hello everybody and welcome to this video of me playing Monster Harvest. And since I already made some videos about the game before, this video is a little bit special because the game is now fully released. So in this episode I'm just going to check out the first few days of the game to see if it is completely similar to the demo or if there are any new things to discover. And if this is the first time you actually watch content of the game, then you're welcome to enjoy the first few days of of the fully released version of the game as well. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into the game. Okay, so I just created this new game slot uh, with my character named Chucky and the farm named Planimal Farm. And now we're going to see the first cutscene where we arrive. I was living in the city barely getting by when one day I received a letter from my uncle. I hadn't heard from him in years, but I remembered him fondly from when I was young. He was a scientist and was always excited to learn more about nature. I wonder what he's up to now. One day I received a letter from my uncle telling me about an amazing new discovery he had made. A substance that can transform plants into animals. His letter tells me he's named these creatures planimals. The discovery Discovery has gotten a lot of interest and a town has sprung up almost overnight around his lab. He wants me to come and take care of his old farm. His letter says he's far too busy with, with his research to deal with the farm. He writes that he remembers how much I used to love visiting his farm many years ago. I've never really cared for the city life and like adventure. I think I'll take up my uncle's offer and take over his farm. I wonder what my new life will hold. And here we are again. Sparky boy, my uncle, Professor Spark. Hi, uh, Shuki. I was hoping you would get my letter. Welcome to Planimal Point. Well, that's the name people have started to call it ever since I discovered Planimals. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Here's the farm. It's all yours if you want it. It might be a bit overgrown. I have been far too busy with my research to tend the land and spend most of my time in my lab in town. I remember you used to love coming to visit the farm when you were younger. That was a long time ago, but I'm sure with some hard work you can get the farm looking as good as new. I think you will really enjoy it here. The country life suits you and Planimal Point is a great community. I have to get back to my research, but settle in and I'll come back tomorrow with some seeds to show you the basics of farming. Thank you. <laughs> right. Here we are. And here Sparky Boy comes again. Good morning, Shuki. Are you excited for your first day on the farm? I'll teach you the basics and we'll get your first crop set up so you will be all set for your new life as a farmer. To interact with things, all you need to do is press the interact button. When you are close to an object or townsperson, you can move a lot faster than I can. But if you need a boost, press the dodge button to perform a roll. Most actions you perform will drain your stamina. The status bar shows you your stamina in green, your experience points in blue, your current amount of money on the uh, and the weather. If you run out of stamina, you will be too tired to work. Some items like food or crops will, re will replenish some of your stamina. Now let's get you to farming. Uh, <laughs> to clear to clear your farm and ready the soil, you will need to select the right tool for the job. Okay. I know. I will do all the things. Pick X and X. We all know what they're for. Yes, yes, yes. Seeds and they need to be watered daily with the watering can, preferably. <laughs> um, and then you have to refill the watering uh, can every now and again. And then you can sell stuff at the consignment board in the top left corner there. And then it's be going to be sold overnight, just like in other games. <laughs> And, and then uh, you can actually rest until the evening to refill your stamina and make it nighttime, or you can uh, sleep through the night as well. You can select that then. Right, so we have mutato seeds, and these can be uh, planted in the dry season, which we are in at the moment. And in the top left corner it says Planimals are monsters made from crops that are fiercely loyal to their creators. You can mutate a crop with red slime to make a planimal, but only hold one of each type at a time. Planimals can be used to battle other monsters in dungeons and help you to research rare resources to upgrade your tools and buildings. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to plant uh, the few seeds that I got there. Beautiful and water them of course. You have to make sure to not click um, 
somewhere else accidentally. My stamina is being used even though I don't really hit anything. And I just uh, discovered stone. And I just hit the void again. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Here's the consignment board where we can sell stuff. We just have to place it there. And then up here we can have a stable construction built for mounts that can be made by using super slime on plants. And then we can have a barn construction here for livestock where we will need a blue slimes. And down here, what is this again? The bunker. Yes, exactly. That's what it was. And then over on this side, um, we have our planimal pen where we can put the planimals that we do not need at the moment or just don't have in our party. And uh, that's everything I can show you this day because Sparky Boy will not let me move past uh, the farm today, as you will see here. Hey Shuki, why don't you try using those tools I gave you? Well, I tried them all already, but let's just try them more because we will need resources eventually. And it's actually smarter to collect woods from logs because as you can see, you get two logs each. And I think by chopping down Ooh, <laughs> by chopping down a whole tree, which um, uses up more stamina, we can see that we get six. So um, not really worth it because it's more than three hits, I think. Uh, three, four, and then I'm already out of stamina. That's great. <laughs> but as you can see, it's definitely more than what a normal log that's lying on the floor would use up right and now i'm going to sleep until the evening just to have a little tiny bit of stamina back sparky boy is still not letting us pass and selling stones and wood logs are a good source of income i think it's f a fiver each unless they change that now suppose we can try and see but you'll definitely need the resources um so just consider that before actually selling the stones and the wood i'm just gonna do that now like one each to see how much money they bring and now we can rest until the next day and yeah it's five each still way we got ten dollars <laughs> amazing Okay, now we should probably water everything. Refill that watering can. Very good. And now I'm gonna go and check out Planimal Point. We have this in-between bit here where you can forge some resources or items in general. Let's see if we have any here that I could pick up. Okay, down there, down there. <laughs> I walked past it already, basically. Here. A uh, honey pepper. You discovered a honey pepper. Hardy food like this can be found by foraging around Planimal Point, but they aren't that valuable. Um, but they give you uh, 50 stamina. Oh, no, I wanted to say no, but okay, there we go. <laughs> I now have a little bit more stamina for the day. Ah, well. And now you will get to see Planimal Point. A little overview of the layout. The saloon is only open at uh, night, as far as I am aware of. That's Sparky Boy's house. <laughs> wow, a whole town has really sprung up fast, and it's all around my uncle's lab. That is true. And then there we can buy all the different slimes that we would need. Um, there's the hospital little cemetery. And the general store where we can buy seeds. Looks like there's a general store. I should check it out and also introduce myself around town. I'm sure that getting to know the townspeople will make my life on the farm more pleasant. Okay, let's go. Hello. Uh, whisper, wood isn't good for a... F what? Wood isn't good for a lot here, but it's still a great resource. You can use it for fences and chests and all you need is to have the materials. Okay. Right, general store. And it's Cassidy. Hello there, my name's Cassidy and I run this general store. I sell a number of seeds and even bigger backpacks if you need to hold more items. We will definitely need to invest in that 
soon enough. It's always nice to see a new customer. Welcome to Planimal Point, a town that seems to have sprung up almost overnight. People are coming from all over to see the planimals and slimes that have been discovered here. It's a perfect business opportunity for me. <laughs> Come by any time during the day if you want to look at my wares. I have different items each season, so keep checking back. Okay, Cassidy, and here we have Spike and uh, he's very talkative all the time. And I'm just gonna get some seeds now. Oh, it's only two different ones. In the demo, we were able to purchase uh, three different kinds. And you would be able to see that in the first episode that I ever did on this game, the first impressions video, but also throughout the first uh, four episodes in general, where I also find a different seed in the dungeon later, but I'm sure we will discover that again. And because we need money, definitely, I'm just gonna buy up the radish seeds because they take only four days to grow. Bam, we have 12 now. Thank you, Cassidy. We're also broke now, which is also great. And I'm just gonna try and check out more places. And more people, of course, and this uh, is Misty. Work hard and play hard is my motto. I know Doc says not to work, uh, to not work too hard, because you can strain yourself, but sometimes it's hard to know when to take a break. That is a true. And then we have Ash here, Captain Ash. An old trick is to use a pickler or jam cask to improve your raw materials. They fetch a much better price. Guess that's later. And then we can uh, unblock these. Uh, passages for a lot of money it was way less in the demo because i suppose the reason being that you only had 10 days in the demo so this was i think a hundred dollars <laughs> not 1500 okay but i'm curious to see if it's still the same area behind if there's still the same things and here we have thorn welcome to the slimery the name's a combination of armory and slime get it my name is Thorn, and I run this place with my friend Spike. He's not very talkative, but I can talk enough for the both of us. Haha. <laughs> if you need supplies for livestock, then this is the place to come. I can also upgrade your tools. Tool upgrades cost money and materials and uh, minerals, and those can be found in the dungeon north of town, but be careful careful in there. Come by any time during the day when we're open and we're happy to help. Okay. So, there's also one slime option missing that we could have purchased in the demo. That's the green slime, which makes the plant that you use it on um, completely grow in an instant. But maybe we will have that later. I think the prices are the same. Okay, thank you, Thorn. And then we have the hospital here. Hello, Dr. Marshall. Welcome to the clinic. I run the clinic with my daughter, Joy. This town has popped up pretty much uh, pretty quickly, but people still need medicine. So we decided to open up. I sell a few useful items such as stamina potions. So if you ever find you need a little extra energy, then come to see me. We're open every day. I kind of hope that they st have stuff for the planimals later as well. And you will probably know why soon and then this one this passage uh, used to be a <laughs> hundred dollars as well i'm pretty sure and this house is still blocked there was a playground i want to know if i can use it <laughs> no i can't use it why <laughs> okay well never mind then uh, my uncle's house uh, hey there shuki so you couldn't wait to learn about my research, could you? I've discovered a magical slime in the dungeon north of town. Slimes come in different colors and have mysterious uh, properties. I've been experimenting and have discovered that when you place a red slime onto a crop you're growing, that it will transform. The crop will turn into what I call a planimal. They're fiercely protective of whoever makes them and will even follow you around. People around town are finding all kinds of uses for slime. Some are even able to power their houses with it. So you may notice a few strange pipes around town. The Slime Co-Pumping Company has even moved into town. I'm not sure exactly what they want because they're pretty secretive. 
The dungeons are closed at the moment, but I've collected some red slime for you. Simply apply it to a planted crop or even a seed and the plant will blossom into a planimal. Make sure you keep watering it though. It's really an, an amazing sight to see. I already had built a planimal pen on your farm that you probably noticed. I have, thank you. The pen can be used to dam uh, damage <laughs> your planimals. <laughs> Manage your planimals. Planimals seem to get jealous of each other, so it's best to only have one of each type at a time. Take this red slime and give it a try. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we can meet some more people up here. Empty. I think that's Rufus's house. And then uh, Nero, I think the name was. And uh, Nemo, okay, sorry. I used to be young and adventurous, just like you and my grandson, Lance. Okay, let's try north of here. The passage to the dungeon should be blocked. And yes, it's still blocked. Sparky Boy is here. Sorry, Shuki. Dungeon's blocked right now. Try coming back another day. Oh, here. We can collect the Ruffled Elf Cup. And it's considered a flower. And that means that uh, we will not get any stamina from that. We can just sell them. Right, Slime Co. Uh, there's no one here. What is all this stuff? I know everyone is interested in planimals, but something about Slime Co. seems off. Foreshadowing much? Hmm. And then we have these things here that we cannot interact with. But their colors are, of course, a little bit suspicious to us already, aren't they? Okay, and I'm back home. Should probably plant these radish plants. And let's use the red slime on one of these radish plants as well. And I'm just going to use the rest of my stamina today to, well, clean the space a little and get some materials. And I reached level one and I can now make a chest, which is quite handy. Was I sweating there now? Is that new or am I? Uh, what is that drop supposed to mean? Or is it a tear? <laughs> am I sad? Am I crying? Am I just sweating? Am I drooling? <laughs> I'm out of stamina. That's what I am. I'm just gonna sell that flower. And there we go. And I'm gonna sleep until evening to show you the saloon real quick as well. Here we are. Let's go. And we got a cutscene. What is it again? Do I know the cutscene? I do know the cutscene. I know the cutscene in daylight. But um, I guess the time of day doesn't really matter. <laughs> Hi Shuki, I've been out here for a long time trying to gather a number of different items for my research. Could you help me with it? You can? Great! I've placed a board in the center of town with the items I need to collect. If you manage to complete a set, I can reward you with special upgrades for the farm. You won't be able to get these upgrades anywhere else. Some of the items I need are only available in specific seasons, so it may take you a long time to gather everything, but I promise it will be worth it it okay and basically what this is is stuff that we should sell for spiky boy okay so that's gonna take a little while it basically means sell at least one of any item i find <laughs> what's this a new customer welcome to the saloon a great place to relax each night and unwind everyone around here calls me the captain but to be honest i'm not sure why i mostly sell drinks but i also have a few odds and ends i even have a few furniture items so check them out while you relax with a drink okay cool and um Thorn is here. I usually don't go out at night without Spike to watch my back. Well, why are you here then? And what do you have? Cola, candied crab apple, crab eggs, piano, grandfather, clock, tall lamp and plants. Beautiful. Can I use this now? Can I use this now? I cannot. Okay, so that's the saloon, everybody. <laughs> Oh, I think we haven't talked to you yet in this game slot anyway. People are pretty safe in Planimal Point at night, but it's good they don't explore outside of town. They aren't brave like me or Vex. Maybe you are brave too. I am Hydra, thank you very much. Okay, and I am too tired now. I should probably make that chest though. Uh, how did that work with the controller again? Here. Uh, no. Hold on. 
Hold on a minute there, chest. <laughs> Thank you, I just made a chest. That is amazing. And I'm just gonna place it here for now. And bam, let's go to bed. And the ruffled elf cup was worth $40. It's raining, so no need for watering action. Amazing. Let's check out if there's anything new going on in town. Do we still only have the two seats here? We do. Backpack upgrade is a little bit far off. Okay, but we can definitely sell um, the flower stuff that we have here. We might be able to get some more stuff... Um, in other areas in a second. Oh, hi Shuki, I've managed to make another uh, breakthrough with slime. This is my new hybrid machine. By mixing two crops with a special combination of slime, I found I can create hybrids. These are combinations of two different crops that I think will be more valuable than regular crops. It seems that once you create a hybrid, you can't slime the plant further. I'm still tinkering with the machine, but you can come by any time you like and give it a try. Let me know if you discover anything interesting. Uh, I will do that in a, in, in a second. Well, not second. <laughs> next episode or the one after maybe uh, we haven't spoken to you yet dot my husband likes to keep track of plants uh, around town he's curious about everything and this is what confused me in the demo as well because she's my aunt and she talks to me like she doesn't know me um maybe this dialogue didn't make it that clear but there was another one in the in the demo where it sounded like she never heard of me or i never heard of her and it's just weird <laughs> but uh who knows what that's for here's the party area maybe there are some flowers to pick no no flowers okay i'm just gonna sell all the stuff don't know if i should sell the honey pepper right away because it is 50 stamina at least i'm just gonna keep it for now and uh, get some more resources and it is six hits with a normal axe to chop down a tree including the tree stump and i reached level two and i can now make a basic fence okay nice and i am out of stamina amazing let's uh put these away shall we and go to sleep for the evening and i'm just going to use the energy that i have now uh, to get more resources and i will not go to the saloon okay and now i'm completely out of stamina and 60. wow amazing you know what else is amazing that these crops will be harvestable tomorrow and we will be able to see what this planimal will look like. Let's see if we can get some cutscenes and items, of course. Okay, so we got our stuff from the foraging uh, trip and now down with the trees. <laughs> and level three, we can make wood paths now. And I am out of stamina. For the $130 that I have, I'm just gonna go and get some seeds at least. And there we go three at least goodbye okay let's plant these three little cuties as well bam 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 and they're watered already <laughs> okay and i'm out of stamina let's go to bed and see how much money we made and 40 okay let's see are the plants ready okay cutscene first Sparky boy, red slime boy, <laughs> help me Shuki. Okay, phew that was close. The slimes have never come out of the dungeon before. Something must have happened to agitate them. They're normally pretty peaceful. Meet me north of town tonight by the dungeon. We need to investigate this. You'd better bring a planimal with you for protection. Here, you can take this mutanko. I made it by using a red slime on a mutato plant. Different types of slime will mutate your, mutate your crops in different ways, but a red slime will always make some kind of planimal. Take the sword to beat any slimes you come across. This should help keep you safe. I have to run to the lab, but meet me outside uh, the dungeon entrance tonight. I shall and look at our first planimal mutanko. Okay. 
Let's collect all the stuff. The sword is quite handy. Should we come across any slimes? That way we obviously don't need to purchase uh, those slimes. There we go. There is the red one. Bam. And that's that. I'm just gonna put the slime and the moon melon. Oh, actually, should I put the moon melon away? Probably not. Oh, people. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some more resources and then we will head off to the dungeon as soon as the evening time has begun. <laughs> Let's see if that tree will regrow if I just leave uh, the stump here. Okay, let's put that stuff away. Go to bed for now. And then we'll head off to the dungeon. Okay, here we are. And there's Sparky Boy and then there's that person and the blue slime. Amazing. Not creepy at all. Okay, did you see that? That was a Wrigley. Uh, that was a Wrigley. <laughs> that was Wrigley, the manager at Slameco Pumping. They started up here in town just a few days before you got here. They've been pumping slime into town to power some of the buildings. I've heard that they want to profit off what they uh, what I've discovered here, but I think that it would be dangerous to remove slime from the dungeon. I wonder what they could be up to inside the dungeon. I've noticed there are wild slimes all over the place now. This has never happened before. I think whatever Slameco ha was doing in there might have something to do with it. Would you get into the dungeon and find out what they're up to? From my research I found the dungeon is far too dangerous during the day. You should only investigate at night time. Be sure to always bring planimals with you to protect yourself. The dungeon is full of wild planimals and other strange creatures as well. Report back to me once you've found anything. We have to make sure Slamco isn't up to no good. Okay. Let's go. I will probably be able to beat like a one wild planimal in there. And then my Mutanko will not make it <laughs> because it's only level one. And that is because our farmland is level one as well. But it's actually fine to kind of use up your planimals like that because then you get heart um, essences I think it's called in return and you can use those essences to to upgrade the quality of your land and therefore get higher leveled planimals right away right from the crop basically okay so we have that thing there make sure it doesn't see it. oh so <laughs> okay well, so much for that. Um, okay, and then the other uh, attacks I can only unlock later. But uh, yeah, we will see how this goes. Mutenko deals six and the Dark Slime also deals six. And yeah, bam, goodbye. I won the battle. Of course, not enough to get to level two. But I've learned how to make a scarecrow and I also received Yam Yam, a starchy plant that can only be dug up in dungeons. It will refill a small amount of stamina. Okay, but now that we cleared this uh, space here, we can just get some of the iron ore that's here. And there's gold ore there as well, but I'm, as far as I remember, either the stable or the barn will need iron. So I'm just gonna go with that for now. Uh, eh, eh, down here. Okay, there's that thing. Not cool. Uh, let's see if we can just walk to the right hand side without being discovered by that thing there. And then these crystals there you can use to make uh, slimes. Okay, this thing is bugged there. But it's also the last room as you can see in the top right corner. So no real reason to just stick here. Why isn't it attacking me? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you for attacking me, Repo. And as you can see, I will probably not make it, but it missed. So I actually have a chance again. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, actually, uh, okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Might even have a level up and therefore fully restored HP. Ooh, nice. We'll see down here. Okay, <laughs> the fire snake level two, but the mutanko is level two now as well and fully restored health-wise, so should have a chance and should have a chance to get a glimpse into other rooms here as well, because um, 
I'm just having my button pressed here, by the way, to just have the same attack all the time. And we did it. Thank you very much. Um, because there are rooms here that are just slime filled. And those are pr ooh, pretty handy to just farm slimes. This is uh, the last room of this end here. What is uh, to the left? Okay, so this is kind of the boss before getting to the other level of the whole um, dungeon thing. I'm just gonna fight this thing. We will pro probably not make it. But uh, yeah, it's already looking not too great. There we go, lost the battle. There you can see I got two hearts. Because my Mutanko was level 2, so you get equal amounts of the level, which is pretty cool. So even if you lose a higher level Planimal, you get that in return to increase the level of your farm um, by much more. Um, Dr. Marshall, I found you outside the dungeon. You should be more careful. The dungeon is very dangerous. If it happens again, I'll bring you here, but try to make, uh, take better care of yourself, okay? It looks like you lost whatever planimals you had with you, but were able to collect some heart slime. Ah, yeah, that's heart slime, not essence. Sorry. <laughs> heart slime contains the memories and essence of your fallen planimals. You can use it in your soil to regrow even stronger planimals. So don't feel too bad if you lose them. Thank you. Okay, let's go home. Okay, let's sell the kiss and flower that we got and just gonna store the rest of the items that I got uh, for now in the chest. Let's go to bed. And a hundred dollars. Uh, thank you very much. Let's see. These plants should be ready. Yes, I just want to show you uh, what this one looks like real quick in case you haven't seen it before. Bam! Beautiful. And it's a rat cross. The rat cross is a support planimal with a collection of healing abilities, but it can also attack. First, I thought it couldn't attack, so that's actually pretty good. And here at that heart sign is where you can try trade in uh, your hearts, which, which I could have done, and then I would have had a stronger planimal right off the bat. But here we are now. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you liked this first impression video of the full version of the game. And I'm going to continue to play this and show you more and also experience more of this game myself. If you like this game, please make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!